Problem 35 wants us to factor the expression x squared plus 4x minus 45. To do this, we're going to use the box method. And so in my box, I know I can put x squared in the top left and negative 45 in the bottom right. Now, I need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 45 and add to that middle term, a positive 4. So first, I need to factor negative 45. Well, the factors in negative 45 are 1 and 45, 3 and 15, and 5 and 9. I know that middle term is positive. That means the bigger number in each factor needs to be positive. That means I'm going to have a negative 1, a negative 3, and a negative 5. So these are my actual factors that would give me negative 45 and that could add to 4. But we need to check and see which ones actually do add to 4. So negative 1 plus 45 is 44. Negative 3 plus 15 is 12. Neither of those work, but negative 5 plus 9 is a positive 4. That's what we were looking for. That's the one we want. So I know my two numbers are negative 5 and 9. I'm going to plug those into the two boxes. And notice my middle term is a positive 4x, so I need this not just to be a 9 and a negative 5, but a 9x and a negative 5x. Now I can go ahead and, and do the actual factoring. So x squared can only be x times x. I need to say what times x would give me negative 5x? Well, negative 5. What times x would give me a 9x? A positive 9. So my two factors are x minus 5 and x plus 9. I want to write them out in factored form, and our answer is x minus 5 times x plus 9. Problem 36 wants me to factor x squared plus 10x plus 24. To do this problem, we're going to use the box method. So x squared goes in the top left, and our last term, 24, goes in the bottom right. These other two boxes are going to be filled with a term that multiplies with two terms that multiply to 24 and add to 10. So the factors of 24 are 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. Again, these are the two numbers that multiply to 24. I need them to add to a positive 10. Well, 1 plus 24 is 25. 2 plus 12 is 14. Neither of those work. 3 plus 8 is 11. That doesn't work either. 4 plus 6 is 10. There's the one I want to use. So in my box, I can put in 4 x and 6x. Now that I've got 4x and 6x in there, I can actually go ahead and factor. So the only thing that makes x squared is x times x. x times a positive 4 would give me 4x, and x times a positive 6 would give me 6x. So my two factors are x plus 4 times x plus 6. And I'm going to write those in two parentheses multiplied together. Problem 37 wants us to factor x squared minus 121. Now this is not a trinomial, so the first thing we want to do is write it as a trinomial. So if it's x squared plus 0x minus 121, we could go ahead and use the box method. So x squared would go in the top left, negative 121 would go in the bottom right, and then I would want two numbers that would multiply to negative 121 and add to 0. Well, the only two numbers that would do that are negative 11 and positive 11. So I can go ahead and put those in the boxes. I'm left with x squared, 11x, negative 11x, and negative 121. I can go ahead and factor. x squared is only x times x. 11x is gotten by multiplying x times 11. Negative 11x is gotten by multiplying x times negative 11. So my two factors are x plus 11 times x minus 11. Problem 38 wants us to factor 2x squared minus 4x plus 7. This is actually a bad problem. And, oh, it's, it's minus 5x, not 4x, sorry. Okay, this is actually a bad problem. There's a typo. But let's go ahead and work it out and see how we would do it. So I know that there's a number in front of my x squared. I can't jump straight to the box method. Instead, I have to use the AC method. 
A is the number for that that's right in front of x squared. C is our last number. We want to multiply the A times the C to get our new number. Here we multiply 2 times 7 to get 14. Now the 14 is the number we need to multiply to, and our middle term, the negative 5, is the number we need to add to. So I need to figure out what factors of positive 14 would add to a negative 5. Well, since it's positive 14, I know they can only be 1 and 14 and 2 and 7. It is a negative 5, so all of my factors would be negative. But negative 1 plus negative 14 gives me negative 15. That's not negative 5. And negative 2 plus a negative 7 gives me negative 9. Again, not negative 5. So here I have a problem that is not factorable. We've run out of factors that could work, so it's, it's impossible for us to factor. Problem 39 wants us to factor 3x squared minus 2x minus 2. Again, this is a problem that is not factorable. So as we work it out as if it was factorable, the first thing we would want to do is use the AC method. I need to multiply the 3 times the negative 2, and I get negative 6. Again, that's multiplying the first term times the last term. Now I want to find all of the factors of negative 6 that multiply to negative 6. They're factors of negative 6, and they add to negative 2. Well, negative 6 is either going to be 1 and 6, 2 and 3, Notice my bigger number is negative, so that means the 6 or the 3 need to be our negative numbers. Well, they need to add to a negative 2, but a 1 plus a negative 6 is a negative 5, and a 2 plus a negative 3 is a negative 1. Again, we've ran out of factors that could multiply to negative 6, and none of them add to negative 2. So this problem is also not factorable. Problem 40 wants us to factor 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. I do have a number in front of the x squared, so I need to use the AC method. Well, 2 is A and negative 2 is C. I want to multiply those two numbers together, and I get negative 4. I need to find two numbers that multiply to a negative 4 and add to a positive 3. The numbers that multiply to a negative 4 are 1 and 4, 2 and 2, I know because 3 is positive that my bigger numbers need to be positive. So I'm going to have negative 1 be, I'm going to have 1 be negative, and I'm going to make one of those 2's negative. Well, when I check, when I add, I get negative 1 plus 4 equals 3. That's what we were looking for. So now, instead of using the box, I'm going to replace that middle term, a positive 3x, with two terms that would be the same exact thing. So notice I'm replacing 3x with negative 1x plus 4x. Everything else is staying the same. I now have a four-term polynomial that I can factor by grouping. As I factor by grouping, I want to look first at the first two terms, and what do they have in common? Well, 2x squared minus 1x, they both have an x. I can pull that x out, and I'm left with 2x minus 1. Notice if I were to distribute that x in, I would get that original again. I want to do the same thing with the second part. So 4x minus 2, they both have a 2. When I pull the 2 out, I'm left with 2x minus 1. I now have two terms. They're being added together, and I'm going to do greatest common factor one more time. So what does x times 2x minus 1 have in common with 2 times 2x minus 1? Well, they both have the 2x minus 1. What's left when I pull out 2x minus 1, when I divide it out, is an x from our red term and a 2 from our blue term. So my final answer is 2x minus 1 times x plus 2.